Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to a news update here on Buzzing Pattaya. And uh, what a week we've had and what a month ahead we've got. Uh, it's been a really uh, busy week. In fact, this month, I've got to be honest with you, this month from my side of things, from the channel and that, it's been very, very busy. We've had a lot of things going on. Uh, we're still, still knee deep trying to build this website. Uh, it's just become a real pain in the backside. Uh, but it's getting there, guys, hang in there. And uh, once it does uh, finally get finished, uh, trust me, it's going to be brilliant. We're going to have a really nice front end and then we're going to have a members area in the back, which is going to be great because then we can do all kinds of things that we can't do right now. So, uh, yeah, so that's happening. And, uh, ah, we, we did the pool party this month, uh, just gone, and that was fantastic. Thank you very much to everybody that came. We really did have a great time. Uh, next month, we're doing two. We're doing two. So check out Discord. Uh, the dates and that are in there. So come out and uh, have a great time. If you are out here, uh, now's a really good time to come out. November, December, January, February, historically are our busiest times. Uh, obviously, right now we know what we're going through, but nevertheless, it's still a good vibe out there. I had a guy said to, uh, honestly, he was on our channel the other day, saying his mates come out, his mates gone back home early, totally devastated that the city is nowhere like it should be and that he's really had a bad time. I've got to be honest with you, that it just makes no sense whatsoever. It really, really doesn't. The city isn't as busy as it used to be, but still, still you can have a fantastic time. I really can't understand the logic behind what he's saying. But anyway, there you go, that's that. Uh, of course, we've got November coming up, so I'm gonna go through a few things. I've uh, got uh, six updates for you today. Um, one very worrying one, uh, the other two are quite good, and then there's three things to look forward to that are coming out here in November. Right, now, the worrying one, I've got to be honest with you, I, I, I don't know, you know, these people. Uh, but the, the police found uh, 55 bullets, 5.56 millimeter bullets, in a luggage of an Israeli man in Phuket. And they picked it up on the x-ray process. He had all the bullets uh, inside his luggage. You know, I mean, I, I don't know where, that, where, where the logic sits with that because surely anybody knows that, you know, let's be honest, you go to the airport, your, your baggage is going to get x-rayed for obvious reasons and hence why they've picked up these bullets. So putting them in his case in the first place was a little bit of a mystery to me as to why you would do that. Um, but more worryingly, you know, he was heading to Bangkok apparently. Um, was he going to leave the country? We don't know. They've arrested him. Um, at the moment, it stands, uh, there's no actual press release as to, as to his logic as to why he had the ammunition. Uh, but the fact is he did have it and 55 bullets you know, I dread to think what, what the possibilities and what the outcomes could have been uh, had he have got to Bangkok. And I, I don't know whether he was going on to a forwarding journey, an international flight, whether he was just, I, don't, I really don't know. But anyway, it's quite worrying that, uh, that he had that amount of ammunition on him. But more importantly, um, and certainly on a good note, was that he was arrested and that they've confiscated the ammunition. And he's currently in custody. And I guess they're going to be interviewing him and uh, finding out what on earth uh, he was doing and where he's going with it. Uh, so yeah, so good news around that they, they got him. Um, now at the moment, a lot of people have been asking me questions about the closing time, uh, the closures at 2 a.m. It's a hard close at the moment. Now, there is a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure on from the from the powers that be right now to make sure that everybody uh, you know works within the remits of where they're allowed to open and close. Um, they are making it very public. They've, they've been out and about stamping their feet and they've been showing their, their presence. Uh, they've even mentioned in the uh, Pattaya News, it says here that according to the law, the venues or similar establishments must, must not allow children under 20 years of age to use the service. So if you're under 20, you're not allowed to go into, these, uh, into the bars. You're not allowed to open later than 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, and they go on to talk about other stuff about uh, gambling, etc. blah, blah, blah. But the point being is that uh, they're making it very, very public. The Royal Thai Police to seriously monitor and prosecute illegal entertainment venues nationwide. So they're not just picking on Pattaya. Uh, they're making it very public that they're going to be stamping their feet all around Bangkok, uh, Phuket. And I guess maybe they'll go over to the smaller provinces. I really don't know. Um, but they are out and about. They are out and about. They are doing what they're saying they're doing. As to where this will end and what the outcome will be, come the you know whatever whatever it sort of calms down a little bit, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, right now, uh, you're looking at a 2 a.m. hard close. So, what I will say to you guys is this: you may find that there are possibilities where you can extend that 2 a.m. to a little bit later. 
Um, all I'll say on that one, guys, is be very, very careful because if you are in situ of a place that's open past the 2 a.m. and the police do come down, you are going to get in a world of trouble. They will not appreciate you being in there. At best, you're going to get a fine. At worst, you're probably going to get a fine, possibly uh, deported or blacklisted. You know, they are, you know, right now, now is not the time to, uh, to play a game of tennis with them. It's a case of saying, yep, no dramas. That's what you want to do. That's what we'll do. So just be a bit aware, guys. You know, there are some places that will say, oh, it's okay. You can stay. You know, we'll be okay. Just uh, at 2 a.m. in the morning, I'm guessing you're not going to be you know, the, the soberest of person, unless of course you don't drink. Um, but at 2 a.m. in the morning, you might make a decision that pe perhaps maybe later on you'll regret. But just be very, very careful, guys. Right now, 2 a.m. in the morning, you know, but it's not the end of the world. You can go out early. You don't have to stay out till 4 or 5 in the morning. You know, you can, maybe you can go out at a normal time, come home at like a normal time and get to see the beach in the daytime instead of sleeping it off. Who knows? There you go. Now, talking about temperatures, sun and the beach, we are now officially, officially on, uh, on Saturday, on Saturday, just gone the 29th, uh, which is two weeks later than normal. We've had it announced that we are now officially entering our winter season. Now, I know you're sitting there thinking, is he having a giraffe for me? Like, how the hell can we have winter out here? But I promise you, and you, I know you're going to disagree with me and you're not going to believe me, but honestly, those guys that live out here, particularly if you're acclimatized, you know, the early mornings and the evenings are gonna get a bit chilly. And we got it from, uh, it normally lasts through to about the end of February. Roughly from now till February, we have the four months where it is particularly cold at night and in the mornings. So, you know, I guess if you're coming out on holiday, it's not really gonna affect you too much, uh, purely because obviously, you know, you may or may not be used, depending on where you come from, you may or may not be used to the heat and the temperature here, um, but if you are, you know, if you are from a hot country coming out here, we are gonna have a bit of a chill in the air. So uh, maybe, and I have about four now, uh, maybe get a sweatshirt and some long pants and socks just in case, because at the evening, you know, when I go home to see my family, uh, I, I sit there in long long pants with socks, uh, a big sweatshirt on, it's bloody freezing. So uh, be prepared. We just had actually, it was only about, what was it, about four or five weeks ago now, we had a bit of a, dri a drop in the temperature. It's quite weird, like it was really cold. So, uh, but now we are officially, officially going into our cold season. And they also say this is the average minimum temperature in the upper part of Thailand is expected to be about 20 degrees Celsius with the coldest period from December through to January. So uh, it, it be seen now before you say 20, hold on, it says in Northern and Northeastern Thailand, the lowest temperature is expected to be at nine degrees. <laughs> We can't be doing nine degrees. They even, do you know what? They're frost up in Chiang Mai. They're, who's been to Chiang Mai, guys, and experienced the frost? I haven't. Um, it's one of the places that I really do want to go to, Chiang Mai. I haven't been there. It is on my 2023 uh, to-do list. I will get myself up there. But yeah, they have frost and uh, fog and all kinds of stuff. And when I used to ride my, my motorbike from uh, here, from Pattaya up to, uh, up to Karat, I would go over Khao Yai Mountain, and uh, sometimes in the early morning, that was pretty cold as well. So uh, yeah, but nine degrees, oh, you can keep that. I ain't having none of that. All right, now on to, on to new things. Uh, today, it is Halloween day. Today is a Halloween, and uh, if you go in, you may have seen a video I did recently in the Royal Garden Plaza. Now that's a big shopping mall on Beach Road and Second Road. Um, it's, it's a really nice place. And what they have is they have a, a thing up there called Ripley's. I mentioned it and I've done a video on it. And what they do is, I've got, I've got to hand it to them. You know, they really go to extreme levels, uh, dressing up in costumes and makeup. You know, it really is a fantastic, I can't, I can't imagine how long they must have to get there before work to get made up in order to go out and do what they're gonna do and, and, and present themselves as these Halloween costumes. Uh, but if you are into Halloween, you know, and you've, uh, you want to go and do something different, get yourself into, into the uh, Royal Garden Plaza. Um, it's, it's in the middle of Beach Road, you can't miss it. Uh, if you're on the second road, on the second road side, it's got the, uh, the big red Spitfire that's, that's fired into the wall, you can't miss that. Uh, and on the other side, um, it's, it's, a, it's a very obvious place. Um, it's not far, not too far away from Walking Street, uh, but go in there, go up onto the second floor, the second floor uh, where they've got the Ripley's, believe it or not, and uh, have a look around. They, they really do go to town on the makeup and uh, I'm sure it'll be a fun evening. 
And if you're in the town, uh, go out tonight, go around many of the bars, they'll all be dressed up in costumes and themes. You know, the girls get right into it. Uh, they, they really do enjoy these kind of festivals. So go out tonight, I'm sure you'll be in for some very interesting sights and uh, yeah, things that you'll wake up in the morning to and go, oh my good Lord, luckily it'll be makeup. On the talking of this month, uh, the, the end of this month, 25th and 26th of November is our firework display. I've got to say, uh, when I lived in the UK, the fireworks used to bore the crap out of me, but I would go for the kids. Now it's a completely different story. Out here, they have what they call an international fireworks display. It's a competition, so basically they have teams from all around the world come down here into the bay. They go out on a floating pontoon in, in, the, uh, in the bay there, and they perform absolutely fantastic, incredible firework displays. I will video these and show you them, but uh, they are fantastic. So if you are in the city uh, towards the end of this month, guys, get yourself down there, go and have a look. It really is fantastic. Go to some of the viewpoints, you know, go up to the Patea sign, there's viewpoints up there. Uh, go to the Hilton, to the Horizon Lounge, there's a fantastic, beautiful viewpoint there. Um, there's you know, a lot of the hotels along the beachfront uh, they'll all have uh, rooftops where you can go up there and watch the spectacular display. And it really is, honestly, I can't, you know, it, it's just mind blowing. Have a watch of that, guys. If you've never been to the firework display before, check it out. And guys, if you have been, what did you think of it? Be honest, you know, what did you think? I think it's, it's incredible how they do it. Unbelievable, it's just fantastic. So, but like I say, I will video this for you uh, towards the end of this month and show you what it is if you're not able to get out here yourself. Now, as you know, I like my heavy music. I'm into my ACDC and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but incidentally, coming out here now, this is the second time they've been here. The first time was back in 2017. Uh, but Guns N' Roses are gonna be performing in Bangkok. Uh, it goes on to say, where is it? It says they're live in Bangkok. And what's the date here? Um, well, that's a bloody good news update. And I can't give you the date. <laughs> uh, where is it? Oh, well, anyway, they're, they're here. Have a look, Google it, guys. Um, it just doesn't, oh, hang on, Wednesday, oh, November the 9th, there we go, sorry, I got there in the end. See, I'll never make a good news report, would I guess, I just don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, Wednesday the 9th, it's at the Thunderdome in Wang Tong Thani, a popular road to North Amburi in Bangkok. Uh, tickets are available from 5,500 and 7,000 bucks standing, seating from 4,000 up to 6,500, uh, they'll be on sale, and they're on sale via Ticket Melon. So if you do want to go and watch them, I would suggest you get your tickets early because I can't imagine that uh, they won't be sold out in a pretty much of a nanosecond. Um, and they reckon here, they says, the up and coming return is likely to see the members Axel Rose and Slash rocking out the stage like the last, last time. So I like ACDC, they're, they're my band, I, I like ACDC. Uh, Craig, Craig, who's one of the uh, admin here and the moderators, I mean, he, he's a walking encyclopedia of musical knowledge. I've never met a guy like him. Uh, if you know who I'm talking about with Craig, literally, just ask him a question about rock music, he's got the answer. He's definitely your phone a friend if you're on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, or if you, uh, you, know, you, you want someone in a quiz group, get Craig, uh, buzzing Craig, he's, his knowledge is fantastic. Um, but I like ACDC, who do you like guys? Who is your go-to band? Who's your favorite? Uh, doesn't, I don't suppose it has to be a rock band, but if you're into the rock, I mean, most people that watch this channel are pretty much around my age, so we all kind of like been through the rock scene. Um, who's your favorite rock band? Who would you love to go and watch and see, or who have you been to see? Uh, drop your comments below, guys. Let's see, let's see, out of interest, how does ACDC rate amongst all the other bands? I don't know, I like Aerosmith. Um, I like Aerosmith, I think them. Stephen Tyler, he, oh, great, his, his daughter Liv Tyler. Damn. Uh, anyway, but that's diversifying. Right, so there we go, guys. That's about it today. Um, with these news, these news updates, I may change it to every two weeks coming up. I don't know. We, we're coming into our into our busier season now, um, and we are going to have a lot more things going on. So I probably want to try and bring as much information to the channel as I can. Uh, but I don't. I just don't like this doom and gloom stuff. It's really not my style. And you know, I mean, obviously the guy with the bullets. I mean, I, I, I have no idea what his agenda was. Uh, but all I know is I'm really grateful that they have managed to intercept him and uh, they will take that, that threat off the streets because we don't want that happening. Uh, and like I say, right now at the moment, you know, the Thai, Thai police are uh, knocking on doors 
tapping their watches and saying, come on, you know what you've got to do, so make sure you do it. So there we are, that's where we are with that. But anyway, so I might change to two weeks. I don't know, let's see where we go. Let's see what the month brings. And uh, like I say, this month, two pool parties, uh, bar crawls, Monday and Wednesdays, uh, sorry, Mondays and Fridays, come and join in. They're great fun, we go off to lots of different venues, really is a good time. And uh, it's a great way of meeting new friends and uh, coming and becoming part of the buzzing community. It's great to have you all here. All right, that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much indeed for watching. Uh, please, as always, remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Uh, have a look on Discord, all of these kind of information snippets. You know, Bo puts the regular daily news update in there for you, uh, things that we think that you know, actually you'd like to read about. Uh, so have a look in Discord. There's loads and loads of different rooms in there. There's chat rooms about all the, all the bars the nightclubs, things to do, places to go, advice on visas and, uh, and uh, legal matters, everything, it's all in Discord. So take a look in there, guys. It's totally free of charge. There is a link in the video description below, so have a look at that. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel and the work that I do here, again, there's a link to that. Uh, and the membership here starts from as little as 89 pence a month. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe. <laughs> Thank you